All right, hello everyone. So I will show you how to fit a distribution to data or fit a to probability distribution fit using a simple Python script, which doesn't require too many commands. So uh, this actually, I'm just showing you the result. So you have some motivation. Uh, what, I, what I did is, what the program does, it's, it takes a bunch of data and it uh, turns it into a histogram and then it plots the distribution from that histogram. So that's the data, it's, as you can see that it's on the, on the B column. So it starts on cell B1. That's actually one of the arguments that we have in for this program. But anyways, first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go to this address and you're gonna clone the repository, which is uh, the statistics repository from my, from my channel. Then just basically click the green button, you copy, right? And then you go through a very similar procedure process as I've shown on my previous videos, where you type git clone dash m and then the address name of the repository. And I'm not going to do it here because I already have it in my in in a somewhere in my computer, which is actually uh, on the command line command prompt uh, window to the left, right? So it's the that address has already been specified. Uh, so I will start then by assuming that this is where you put your place your repository, right? This is actually what I've done mine. I'll start by showing you actually something that some requirement that you may need for your Python install your Anaconda or Python installation, right? If you install it, make sure that you add Anaconda to the path environment variable. That way you can execute Python through the command line and this just simplifies things so much more. This is something that I may have not have mentioned on my previous videos, but I think it's good that you do, that, that I did, that I mentioned it. So anyways, uh, we'll start now by running the first script, which basically does a single distribution fit to a single uh, data set. To a single, uh, yeah, to a single data set. So, um, if you type the Python, then the name of the script, pdsfit.py and dash h, you'll find all the arguments, all the optional arguments that you can that you can modify uh, for this for this function. So, the first algorithm that you may the algorithm the first argument that you may need to change is the the path, which is just specify a dash p. In here, I have actually specified it as it's actually this is the path where your with your of your file name basically. So uh, you will have to, you will start with the directory with the path, and then obviously in the end it ends with the name of your file that you're analyzing, which for my case is results.xlsx. So here I'm just showing you a PDS fit. I'm showing you that you can actually instead of a to bypass that so somewhat of a tedious task, you can always just always just default it on the Python script instead of having to change it, you know, all the time on the command line. But nonetheless, I'm, I am doing everything on the command line just to show you how versatile this program can be. So the second uh, argument is that there's somewhat important is the dash B column argument. So this is actually B1. It's actually where my data started, right, as I previously showed you. This the all the data that I'm looking at is in column B, but it obviously starts at, in row one, so this is how it's specified. The other arguments are range um, of the plot, the label, which is not really that necessary, and some others that you'll probably, you're, I'll either show you here, or they're pretty self-explanatory, you probably can learn on, on your own what they are. So I will just start by specifying dash P, the, the path, and the column. Before I wanted to show you something else. What did I want to show you? Yeah, I wanted to show you where all of our where I'm pulling all of our data, right? So we are actually pulling our data from a subfolder inside that repository that you just cloned which is a subfolder called templates-samples. And inside that folder, and inside two other folders, right? Uh, I mean, going going into two folders from that one, 
uh, that's where we hold our data set in a folder called data set basically so this is what I've done right so I just I've just gotten inside all those folders I copy copy the whole address copy the folder name which is example one and each of those folders have a an Excel file which is named the same way all of the Excel files are named results I have the name results.xlsx XLS Now that I have made a mistake here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the mistake was that I, I have to, I, I was actually trying to execute the Python script in inside the folder, and not in the, our direct repository, but inside the templates examples folder, which doesn't house it. So I am actually now need to get out of that folder through the terminal just by typing cd space dot dot and so now I'm in the right place you see that I am in the statistics folder now so I can run this uh, script as it is uh, as I mentioned uh, all of the scripts uh, in here are named the results dot xlsx xls so I'll just uh, run it and press enter and this is what I've done so now that's, that's it basically. So what it did was it plotted, it fitted uh, the data to five, to all five uh, different uh, probability density distribution fits that I've programmed on the, onto the script, which are uh, Gaussian, log normal, exponential, and then gamma data distributions. Uh, so this is what, it, what has been done. Now what I what I what I did here with the second command line is I specified just to plot the beta distribution by typing dash t space beta. In that way, it just plotted. And I can, and now in the, this third one, I just specified the Gaussian distribution. So just by typing dash t space Gauss. So this is the normal distribution. And so you can uh, actually you know specify more than one distribution by just spacing them out so typing dash t and then each of the different uh, distributions that you want so in this case i wrote now i'm plotting for having my data fitted to four different distributions at the same time and you can see that i also typed the option dash plt in n which uh, it would be for the case that you don't want to make a plot out of it you just, you just want to rescue to obtain all the statistical data, right? So that's what I've what has been done here. And now, what I uh, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Uh, I'm just going actually to the help again to see if I want to show you any. If there's any anything else that may be important that I show you. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, Vin dash B. It would be Vin size. I can obviously also customize the bin size, the number of uh, rectangles on your histogram in layman terms, right? And also specify the range by dash R and specifying the minimum and the maxima of the range. In that case, I specified it to go from 10, negative 10 to 50 by spacing them out. Um, now the plot looks a little weird. Uh, the reason why that is is because uh, it's a more constrained range, but I can obviously, if I want, I can also expand the range right so i think let's say if i expand it to the negative 100 to 500 and i keep the bin size at a higher number at 18 bins i can now check out what my plot would look like so you see now the range goes from negative 100 to 500 and there's more bins now that you can see for the same set of data and it's plotted it's it's fitted all five distributions to it because it's the, the whole algorithm is defaulted to all, all um, five distributions if you don't specify it, right? So that would be that would be it uh, for the pdsfit.py script. Now there's a different there's another script also that I would think I would in my opinion is a little bit more elegant. It's just the pdsfit dash more sorry underscore more dot pi, and what it does what this one does it it can uh, fit a uh, distribution to several different data sets at the same time well not at the same time but it can fit it multiple times it can fit multiple uh, 
data sets with different distributions, right? So that's what I'm going to show you here. Um, the one that we've been using, it is, as I mentioned before, we are just able to do a single data set. For this one, we can fit multiple data sets to multiple probability distributions also and tabulate all the statistical data from all of those different examples to Excel. So let's see. Now what I'm going to do, obviously, to start uh, to start the the demonstration is delete that dash h argument, and I will keep the dash p uh, argument as p1 because all of my Excel files have the data in the p column. All right, so you can see it for for this script. You just need the path is actually not the path to the file, but the path to the data sets to the data set with all the example data. Right, so I'll just show you where it is in a more physical way. Um, it's actually on that address. You can see that there's the data set path. There's several example folders. And each of those example folders have an Excel file, which is named results. And also have the sheet name is also results. Right. Uh, so just for my for practical purposes, I have also my, defaulted my script to have the sheet name as with the name results, as you can see. So um, you may actually need to change that because typically I would assume that if you're using Excel, the sheet name would most likely be named sheet one, right? So that may be a change that you need to make. However, I'm not going to do that because mine, in my case, uh, all my sheet names from all of my files are called results. Right, so so yes. Now there are other options, obviously. In case, let's say that we didn't wanna, we don't wanna make any plots, and we just want to obtain all the statistical information from from all of our data, from all of our uh, from our whole data data set. So we just type dash plt and a space no, right, and for no. And this is what I've actually done. And I just basically pressed enter after typing that small change. And I will not get any plots, as you can see. Right? So it is just fitting all of my data to distributions, to different distributions. And, and in the end, it nicely actually tabulates all of the statistical data that it has fitted to all of the different examples in an Excel file. Right, so I guess this is somewhat of a convenient thing, especially if you have a lot of different uh, data points to deal with. And you can see that, yeah, so we can obviously also plot all of our examples by typing dash plt uh, space y. And if we wanted to just be more specific with the uh, statistical fit, if we just wanted to fit each of our data examples to a Gaussian, then we just type dash the space Gauss, right? So this is what I've done. And now example one, you can see that um, it just obtained the Gaussian statistical information. Example two, also just the mean and the standard deviation. So I have to close open and I mean, I, I would just I just have to close all of the plots as the algorithm goes. Unfortunately, uh, I guess it gives you a chance to also save them if you want, or save them individually. Give give it a little bit of a sequential sequential uh, order. So well, you can always yeah. So in the end, yeah, you you will obtain only the Gaussian information in this case because you only specified that you wanted it to fit to be fitted to the Gaussian, right? By dash D space Gauss. And so this is basically, basically it. This is the, the, the end of the video now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, once again, just some uh, things that I wanted to mention again. Just um, if you want to like make this a little less tedious, just um, 
specify the path in the script instead of calling it in the windows in the in the command prompt and you can also like make sure the to, to write this, the to specify the, the sheet if your sheet is not named results right so uh, one last thing also uh, is my algorithm is not my script's not perfect so make sure to start if you want to fork it if you want to collaborate thank you